Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I am Jessie Tripp and we are doing a chakra series. So today we are talking about the sacral chakra and in this video you will understand the location of the sacral chakra, what it generally feels like, the life arena that the sacral chakra covers, like the characteristics, and also some cues of a balanced or unbalanced sacral chakra and how to nourish or rebalance this amazing chakra. I can't tell if you're doing it. As you can see, I am so sacral chakra today. We're doing this in these videos. I'm Im embodying the chakra that we're talking about. So we have this silky, sensual orange shirt, a agate bracelet, and some bright orange earrings. And I'm also feeling very fluid and emotional and loose for this video. That is the sacral chakra. First, I want to do two myth busters with the sacral chakra. When we say sacral chakra, we think sexuality, sensuality, but that's not all of what the sacral chakra is. And that leads into the second myth buster. When you think sacral chakra, do you think fire? Because it's like, oh, sacral chakra, fire, action, sexy. That's not the element for this chakra either. The element is water. So emotions and water are the two things that are generally oftentimes looked over with the sacral chakra. So I want you to keep that in mind. So the location of the sacral chakra is in the lower abdomen around where a lot of the reproductive organs are on both men and women. So it's above the root chakra in the lower belly and it feels like more of a wheel than the root chakra does. This is all my opinion and from my own experience and research. So the sacral chakra feels more like a spinning wheel and you can feel a lot of power in that chakra, in that part of your body. And it also has a sensation of pulling upward from the power that the root chakra gets from the earth. So the power pulls upward, but also spins in a, as a wheel. And the life arena of the sacral chakra all the work that's being done in this chakra and the life areas that it covers are, of course, the sexuality, the desire, the wanting, the desiring for things, the feeling deserving of having what you desire and for expressing yourself. It's also movement, moving in fluid movements, having connection with other people and feeling that feeling of fluidness and connection with another person and within your body and the expressions that you use your body for. And also the sacral chakra is the life arena of emotions, of your the emotions that are sent to you, how you feel them as feelings in your body, how you interpret them, how you deal with them. So that's the life arena of the sacral chakra. So some cues of a balanced sacral chakra are going to be ease with expression, ease with movement, ease with facilitating and maintaining and establishing connection in your body and with others. A healthy feeling of being able to have sexual desire and, ex and express your sexual needs. Those are all balanced sacral chakra cues. Also, the sacral chakra is your powerhouse for creativity. And it's where you get those creative impulses 
where you get those unique thoughts of something that you can create and make or imagine. So that's another cue of a balanced and healthy sacral chakra is that you have imagination. You are creative. You're tapping into those ideas. And some cues of, uh, I wanna use the word hungry, like a hungry sacral chakra or an imbalanced weak sacral chakra or overactive sacral chakra. You have both weak and overactive. So weak would be low sexual desire, low interest in intimacy, low interest in being creative, low interest in moving your body and expressing yourself. An overactive sacral chakra would be uh, sexual addictions or addictions of any kind really and just a not feeling satisfied with what you have that would be an overbalanced sacral chakra for both the inability to understand what your emotions are feel or feelings are trying to tell you or an inability to express your emotions and your feelings and those are all cues that something is maybe off with the sacral chakra. And a few other last things for cues that the sacral chakra needs some attention and nourishment are difficulty with setting boundaries or respecting boundaries of others, maybe some emotional dependency or an inability to connect with others or to yourself and self-love. So when it's time to nourish your sacral chakra, when it's time to give it some care and attention, some things that you can do are, along with the root, it's mind-body connection. Noticing your body and seeing how you can connect with it more. This can be in the pleasure section of life, or it can just be in the physical section of life, where you're just getting to know your body more. Self-massage is amazing foam rolling, stretching, all of that is nourishing to the sacral chakra. Also really starting to pay attention to your emotions and your feelings and how they feel in your body and then expressing those feelings and emotions and how that feels freeing for your body. Experiencing your emotions in your body is a huge nourishment for the sacral chakra. And a few affirmations for your self-talk or mantras for the sacral chakra are, I am creative and expressive. I feel at home in my body and my body is sacred. I feel pleasure in what I do in my life. I move easily and effortlessly. The sacral chakra is one of my favorites and keep in mind the two myth busters that I said at the beginning. The sacral chakra isn't all about sexuality. It is just as much, if not more, about emotions. And number two, fire is not the element of the sacral chakra, which is deceiving because the color is orange, so you would think it would be fire. But the element is water and water symbolizes emotions, the whole sea of our emotions, the sea of our desire and expression and creativity. So the element is water. Thank you for watching this root chakra video and let's nourish our root chakras this week. Bye.